All right, I made it. There was a little echo on that one because I had the other volume up, but uh, you're going live. Yeah, man, <laughs> going live. <clears throat> Excuse me. You guys can hear me, right? Yeah, man, <laughs> going live. Okay, good. Sounds good. All right. How's that look? I mean, the picture looks good. I try to perfect this stuff every time I do this. Yeah, I'm gonna just do something, um, <clears throat> excuse me, a little different. Not, not even really different, just a couple different, you know, different colors. I'll list them down, uh, list them down below, probably when I'm done. But um, it's a couple of the same colors that I always use. So I did, um, so this palette here, it's pretty cool. I, most of you guys know I have the, the plexiglass one, but I, uh, I did a job recently and um, the lady gave me this as like a tip. And um, I like it, I, I kind of like it. it. It feels like me, it's wood, you know? So I don't know, we'll see. We'll see which one I like. But um, here, here's the colors real quick. quiet. Can you guys hear me? Somebody said I sound quiet. So before I say anything, let me know. Because I could always turn it up a little bit. Actually, let me do that. Let me just do something like, how's, uh, I, see, if I talk, if I start to talk loud, I don't want to sound fine. Okay. All right, let me just go. I don't want to mess, uh, Sometimes I start talking loud, you know? And if I start talking loud, no Italian, I don't know what that means. Okay, here's the colors that I am gonna be using. Prussian blue um, here. This is actually midnight black. It's got a nice little purple in it. <clears throat> this is, uh, what is this? Burnt umber. Uh, I actually got dark sienna and bright red. This is white, obviously. And um, that is about it, right about there. So, let me try to figure out where to start on this. But I think I like this palette. So we'll have to see how it's doing. Do me a favor, share, uh, if you don't mind real quick, share the video. Share it somewhere, share it everywhere, so more people can see it. And um, I say this in every uh, live stream. If anybody is watching on Facebook, I seem to have um, an issue with comments over on Facebook. I can't, I, I, I don't know. Sometimes I could see them and then they freeze most of the time. So I see comments on, um, on YouTube. Not really gonna be looking at the comments that much. I just wanted to <clears throat> uh, make something and just kill some time, you know what I mean? Um, get in that feel good type of mood because that's what it does. It puts you in a, a good mood. And I was, uh, I was really sick last night. I, um, I, I don't know what ha I, I don't know. I had like a, maybe a headache or something that caused me to feel, I thought I was uh, coming down with that, that virus. But um, I'm here and I'm alive and I'm feeling good today. So I'm gonna try to do something here. All right, let's get started. Let's get started. All right. So I, I actually used, I used some liquid white on here. Um, I was feeling a little bit lazy, so I just, I put that up here. I normally mix up my own medium, but uh, I didn't do that today. So, yeah, it looks about right. All right, I'm gonna start off with, what am I gonna do here? Hmm, I'm gonna use a little bit of pink, I think, or red. I'm gonna make it pink though, just by using a little bit. I think I like this palette. I really do. I'll have to see. But I'm pretty sure I'm gonna like it. I don't know why. It just fe you ever you ever have something that just feels good? It just feels right. You know? It just it's just one of those things. It feels it feels right. And if it feels right, 
you got to go with it. You got to just run with it. So this is just red. It's mixing with that color, so it's going to turn, you know, like a pink, like a pink color, you know, something like that. Hey, I know what. Let me know where you're watching from, because after the live streams, I'd like to go back and look and see where everybody's at in the world. You know, I think it's I think it's really cool. I was thinking the, I was talking actually the other night about everybody should be you should just be grateful because think about the time uh, of, of life that we're, we're living in right now. Right. I know it's bad. You know, and there's a pandemic and all that stuff, but but you can't think about that stuff. Think about the technology and I can I can press I can press one button and people can just watch. You know, I don't know. I'm just grateful. I'm gonna throw some of this color down here as well. I'm just grateful for that, that I'm living in that time um, because think about back in the 1800s or whenever, you know, when everybody was walking around with candles or whatever the hell they used, you know, to for lights, you know. Uh, they, If you would have said something about Facebook or YouTube or the, you know, imagine watching somebody from around the world just by clicking a button, they would, you know, probably put you in a mental hospital or something, you know, but here we are. Here we are. So be grateful, you know, <clears throat> be grateful. I'm always grateful. Every day that I wake up, I'm grateful. All right. Let me step back and see here. Okay. All right. So there's some red, some red. That's, that's a good start, right? That's a good start. Does that look, does that look red to you guys? I've been trying to make sure to adjust the colors on these cameras to make sure that they match the colors in real life. You know, so it, it should be like a light, like a light red. All right. Mm -hmm. Share the video, share it. Gotta get more people in here. I know it's a Monday night, you know. Maybe a little bit more, just a little bit more of this red. Never know where it's gonna go. Yeah. That's about right. Okay. Let's switch it up now. Let's uh, get some blue. A little bit of blue. A little bit of blue. Maybe a little bit of this black. Wintery stuff looks like a grayed blue, right? Am I right? I don't know if I'm right. But. We'll find out when I'm done. A little bit of that too. Always step back when you're looking at your stuff because it's uh, it's super important to step back. Yeah, it looks good. That looks good. I hope you guys are doing you know well. I hope everybody's having um, just the best time as as possibly. Po here I go with my words. I hope everybody's having the best time that you can possibly have right now, you know, with everything uh, taking place right now in the world. It is Christmas time though, so you should be happy with something, you know. Um, I live my life like that every single day. I, I can take a, a bad situation and try to find the good in it, you know, and, it's, uh, and I've just learned it really helps a lot to be like that. And I know it's hard to, hard to think about that, but... Um, I would uh, previously, in my previous life, I would find the negative in every uh, positive, you know, so uh, I would strongly recommend not to, not to live like that. So, and I'm not a guidance counselor or anything like that, I'm just bored talking, you know, so don't mind me, just throwing some of this color down. See, what I like about this type, uh, type of painting is you could just put color wherever, you know, and if you don't like, if you don't like it, you can, you can cover it up, you can add stuff, you know, sort of take stuff away. It's a really good, really good style of, uh, of painting. What is that noise? Hmm, okay. I don't know if I'm getting messages or what, but I got all kinds of buzzing going on over here. I'm just putting some more of this color. I'm gonna make the corners a little bit darker. This looks like a nice uh, soft grade blue color, which is pretty cool. So I'm get a little bit more blue and black. I don't even know if you can, yeah, you can see that. I don't like holding the palette. Um, I do not like holding it 
at all. And I don't know why I'm trying to get used to, I'm trying to force myself to get used to holding it, but I don't know what's going to happen with that. So here's what it is. All right. All right, man, we got to get some more people in here. I figured it was a, you know, a boring Monday night. I figured a lot of people would be home just doing their thing. You know what I mean? So I figured it was a good, good time to do this. All right, I'll blend that out in a minute. I'm gonna drop some of this blue color all over the place. And then, then we'll start working with it. Boy, that looks like a mess. That looks like a mess. I'm just throwing this color wherever because I got, I'm gonna cover some of it up with, with you know, white and all that, so not really concerned. I'm gonna make some areas darker, lighter, you know, all that. I like these two colors. These are, uh, these are two good colors. Hmm, okay, all right. Put some more up here and then I'll start blending this. Got to save some of that pink. I don't want to get rid of all that pink in there. Um, all right, let me put this up here. Let me grab another one of these. Where's the other brush at? Um, maybe this one. Hold on, let me test it. Let me test it. Yeah, it feels good. Okay, I'm going to blend this out now. So I'm probably going to start in the pink, and then I'll work my way up, which is normally, uh, you know, the best way to do that. Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. Maybe I don't know anything. That's the cool part about what I'm doing because I don't care if I don't know anything. You know what I mean? Like it doesn't, like, I just don't care. I, I might care, but I just don't care. I don't care if I'm doing this right or I don't care if I'm doing it wrong. Um, sometimes I will get like, you know, messages where people will tell me that I've done something wrong. And um, I always tell them the same thing. Thank you. I appreciate your feedback. Although I don't care about if I'm doing it wrong or right because it feels right and that's uh that's why i keep doing it because it feels right this feels right and i don't know what it is about this but it's uh it's something really powerful and i think i think that's why i spend a lot of my days trying to convince people to do this there's something very very powerful that takes place with not just this with most creative outlets so you might want to con, you know, consider listening to you know, what I say or what others are saying out there because it's, it's true, very true. Very true. Now let me uh, just hit this real quick. I don't want to blend that out too much. Get a nice little purple color when they mix, you know. All good, all good right here. Let me step back there. I gotta make, I need a little bit more pink happening in my life here. So let me just grab that brush and wipe it off real quick. Get a little bit more red. Hmm. Yeah, a little bit more red. Hey, listen, I'm gonna, uh, gonna try to look down at the comments here. I just, I don't know. I just feel like um, some of the live streams that I've done, I, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to feel like I'm wasting your time. Um, you know, so I'll try to look down and you know see if anything grabs, you know, my attention or whatever. But, but I can also you know come back afterwards and watch it, and I can still answer things you know afterwards. But. I don't know. I just want to feel like I'm not wasting your time. It's bad enough that some of the things that I say don't make sense, you know. So I don't think people want to watch me stand here staring at another screen and answering questions. So, you know, just saying, I will try to look down, but just in case. And for anybody on Facebook, um, I love you, but I can't see you. All right. 
just to make that clear. Let me step back and see. Okay, all right, maybe. Maybe, let me get a little bit more blue. Down here, I should probably hold the palette. I just lost, oh goodness, I'm losing viewers. All right, no problem. I don't know, can't figure this whole thing out. I'm putting, uh, this is not a gray blue. I don't know why I'm doing this because it looks, it looks pretty good. So it feels good and that's why I'm putting that color down. Maybe I'll do one here too as well. Little, little light, little dark, you know, all the stuff. Maybe have a little one right, something like that, I don't know, right there. All right, let me go back to the big guy here and blend this out. All right. <clears throat> hmm, okay. So yeah, I don't know. I was just saying about being grateful, like, man, like there's so many reasons, to, you know, just to be happy, to walk around happy. I see so many people, they're miserable and I feel bad for them. You know, I really do because, you know, I don't, I, I, it's not like everything is just so, you know, perfect and nothing ever happens, you know, in my life or whatever, but, you know, I could easily walk around and find things to be miserable about. But instead I walk around with a smile and <clears throat> it's funny because, <clears throat> excuse me, I have to say this, my kids, we were, uh, we were out looking the other night at Christmas lights. We drove around for like th uh, three hours. And you know, like maybe in your neighborhood, maybe they have those houses where it's like on a list. You can go to all these different houses and look at Christmas lights and that's, that's what we did. But we were talking and you know how like, and, and ex just forgive me all the women that are watching this, but like, you know how they say like women, when you go to wake them up maybe in the morning, it's just like some well, some women. It's just like don't even bother. Like just don't bother waking them up. Maybe just hit the alarm and run out of the room. So I get it. I've seen that. But so my kids were saying, yeah, they were saying dad, dad is like dad is the most pleasant person to wake up. It doesn't matter if it's three in the morning, you know, or seven in the morning. They say that when they wake me up, <clears throat> I just immediately like smile. Like I have this big smile on my face and. It just, I'm just telling you this because I really do mean what I'm telling you about. I walk around like, I'm just happy, you know, I'm naturally happy and it's just another day here, you know, and mo you just be happy to be here on the planet. I'm happy. I'm just trying to relay that, relay that to you guys. You get another day here. You didn't have to get today, you know, maybe we won't get tomorrow. So don't waste it today. That's just my point. But anyways. Sorry, maybe, maybe all of the women are on here. Maybe you guys are all pleasant to wake up in the morning. I don't know. I'm not judging you. But I'm just saying, you know, in general. All right. So, okay, enough of that. Oh, see that? Lost some viewers. <laughs> I love it. All right, let me see. Where am I going? Maybe, uh, I don't know if there's going to be room for clouds, but maybe we'll put a few in. What do you think? What is that buzzing? I don't know what that is. Okay. Something's buzzing over here. So if you hear like a buzz or like a vibration, I don't know what that is. Maybe it's my phone. All right, let me think about this for a minute. So I want to put maybe a cloud right there. Maybe one there. Okay. I'm going to grab a fan brush. How's that one look? Let me see. Yeah, that one looks good. I'm going to get a fan brush. Let me get some white. Yeah, I like this palette. This is, I feel like, I don't know, I feel like this is gonna be me for sure. So I'm gonna get some white here. I don't know if this is gonna show up. I don't know if it's gonna show up in the background, but I'm gonna put it on anyways. And if I don't need it, we'll just get rid of it, you know? So maybe right here. Okay, that must be, I must be getting messages or something. I, I get a lot of messages, but that's a lot of vibrating. Sounds like you're back. No, it's not my background music. Hold on, let me put my hand on it. Is it this? Hmm. Okay. All right, well, hey. Oh, man. Hold on. How did that happen? All right, one second. I had a fan brush in my hand. 
with paint on it and I smeared it all over the back of this thing. One, just one quick second. All right. All right, we're good. All right, well, I, I doubt you guys can hear it anyways. It's like a not, it's not constant. It's a um, intermittent vibrate. It's messages, I'm pretty sure. I have my phone on mute and I get 200 messages per hour, it seems like. So look, I'm gonna pop one in right here. I don't make clouds normally on this angle because it don't, never feels right. So I'm just gonna do it anyways, just to be different. All right, little guy here, he floats up there. And then, yeah, it, I know it doesn't show through too good, but you know, we'll work with it, you know? And I'm gonna blend all this out, but I'm gonna go over here and get some more. And I'm gonna put one, maybe I'll make like a little opening, I don't know. Something like this. None of these are gonna show. I don't know why I'm doing this. I'm just showing you maybe how to make a cloud, possibly, because none of this is gonna show through, because I got trees and stuff I wanna put in here. But you see, I'm just, just doing whatever. Wow, this is obnoxious. All right, okay. Holy shit. I mean, thanks Rhonda. Damn, you didn't have to do that. Thank you, appreciate it. Appreciate it. Very nice of you. It's so funny when you're watching off of a screen. YouTube, make sure that sticks out because it's like this huge bright color that just sticks out of the corner of your eye. Good job, YouTube. Okay, let me get the other brush here. Set this down. Put that right there. I use paper towels often. Paper towels, see? Thank you, Tracy. You're awesome. You didn't have to do that. You just, I'm just saying, you didn't have to do that. Didn't have to do that, but I, you know, I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you. All right, let's, let's do this. Let's blend this out. Feel free to share the video again if you want or not. I'm just gonna blend this out real quick. And while I'm blending this out, oh my goodness, I gotta say something that's on my mind. And I don't know, like, I don't know what you, th what you think about this, but this is interesting actually. Um, so I'm just gonna say it. I'll probably put some more there. So when I, um, when I make, a, when I put a post or a picture or something on Facebook, when I put it on, I can, uh, and not just me, most people, I can go on and I can look back at something called analytics. And the analytics tell you how many people liked it or you know, disliked it or did whatever, shared it. It tells me everything. You know, so for the people that, you know, that share the stuff on Facebook, I can see who you are. I can see who shares stuff. And I can tell you that I really, I really do appreciate it. Um, and I can see that you do it. So the interesting thing is that I wanted to tell you about Facebook is if you know me at all, you know I do not, I'm not, I don't walk around thinking I'm this great person, you know, this great, awesome, great art, whatever artist. I don't think that stuff, but I was surprised the other day when I saw something. There's something called hide post or hide all posts. So when I post something on Facebook, you have the option to just never seen it's almost like blocking me never see me again um, there are so many of them there's so many people that block my posts all future ones as well um, and I just thought that was interesting um, only because I always post I try to always post like you know nice positive encouraging stuff on Facebook so it just blew my mind to see that people block me every po it's every and it's every post which i don't care but i thought it was interesting you know it's kind of like worth a study you know what i mean like you get what i'm saying am i making sense i don't know what i'm saying i figured i'd share that i just thought it was interesting to say the least 
I feel like it's like seeing a video, right? About somebody that goes out into the streets to give a homeless person like food or, or whatever and does something good for a homeless person and just like block the video and I don't want to see that ever again. But anyways, I thought it was interesting to talk about. It is really weird. I don't know. That's what I thought. Unfollow this app, but I'll uh, I can I'm gonna, I'll actually I'll show you uh, when I talk to you about that brand because it's just interesting. It's it's so interesting. It tells me like that somebody doesn't want you know like positivity, which I don't know. Just finding stuff to talk about. You know, um, what do you want to talk about? Talk about anything. Just putting a few more clouds. Like you see, this doesn't show through too good. How does it look? Can you even see clouds on your screen? Okay, maybe you can. I'm looking off here. Hmm. So I'm trying to think right now what area is gonna, what I'm gonna let show through here because I got trees everywhere. So I'm thinking for the sake of the cloud, I'm gonna try to put a little bright, a little bit of brightness, right? A lot of paint right here because this may show. I want a little form and shape to that. I don't want it to look like a dead cloud. <laughs> dead cloud. Da, da, da. Okay. And right here, this may show through. I don't know how this looks to you. I'm brightening. I'm trying to just brighten this with some pure straight white paint. Just the edges there, just so maybe, maybe it'll show through and I'll give this a quick little blend. I love painting clouds. I love doing this. Jesus. Merry Christmas. Wow, Patty, you didn't have to do that. Oh my goodness. Thank you. I, Merry Christmas. Merry, I love you. Thank you. You guys are great. Oh, Nick's here too. Nick. Got them all here. All right. You guys are you guys are great, man. You guys are great. You know, I say this in every live stream. Make sure that you guys, they're both here watching. You know, Nick is in here and Bram is in here. Happy Trees Art. Make sure that, make sure you guys go and, you know, like or follow their, uh, you know, their pages and stuff because, you know, they're doing great things as, you know, as well. And it's just an incredible thing, you know. And it's, I can tell you, if you head over there, it's very worth it, you know, so very, very worth it. Um, mm -hmm. All right. Let me lift these up. I think I'm going to be done with these clouds here in a second. I'm sure you guys are. I was just trying to, uh, if you get what I'm saying here, I'm trying to just make sure that you can see the edges of them. Let's see here. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Nah, man. Um, Bram always tells me I don't need to do that, but I know I definitely know that. I know that I don't need to do it, but I I want to do it because it's it's the right thing to do. You know, it's it's the right thing to do. And I never understand that about like. There are, I'm just going to do one more thing here with these clouds. It seems like a lot of people that, that are, you know, I guess would be classified as like artists or whatever. It's like they just don't ever want anything to do with other artists. And that's why a couple weeks ago, I declassified, is that even the right word? Myself. I'm not an, I'm not an artist. I don't want anybody to ever refer to me as an artist ever again because that's, I'm, that's not what I am. My new term is I am a, uh, I'm a, I'm a damaged human, right? This is what I am. I'm a damaged human um, that is just putting my feelings down on these canvases, right? Trying to just make good vibes, something like that. I'm not like, I'm not damaged like today or yet. You know what I mean? Like previous life, my previous life. We were talking about that too the other night, how my old self like died, literally. Like my old self is dead, gone. See you later, dude. Sorry about your luck, you know, type of thing. I'm happy to be here. That's 
I smile when I wake up. I really am, I can't, I don't know if you guys can tell. Sometimes I get like so sincere when I'm trying to talk to everybody because I really am, I'm not even joking, you know? I am not joking around. Okay, let's see. You guys are like, probably like, all right, come on, enough clouds. All right, here we go, here we go. I'm thinking about a background, a little background. I think a nice, maybe a uh, little baby blue type of, not a, not a mountain, but like a little hill type thing in the background would probably be fitting for this, you know? Something way in the distance. So let me just use this fan brush since I already have some stuff happening here with it. I got some paint on it. So I'm gonna take some, uh, figure out how to fix my setup here. Mm-hmm. Okay. Blue, black, and I don't know. What colors go on distant mountains? Or mount oh my goodness. What colors go on distant hills and or mountains or yeah, footy hills? <laughs> Maybe try brown, right? Well, that's thick. Wow. Let's try, let's see what this does. I don't even know what I'm seeing. I'm just, I don't know what I'm looking for here. I'm just mixing stuff now. Uh, let's get some white over here. Hmm, okay. Blue, black, some brown in there. I gotta wipe this off a little bit. Just, just wiped it on my hand, actually. Oh my goodness. Okay, I don't know who this crazy person is, but let me just block this person real quickly. Uh, Baboon. All right, there you go. Sorry, I had to block somebody. I'm sure you guys saw <laughs> some weirdness happening. <laughs> somebody said, hi, babe, bye, babe, bye with a million Ys. Like, come on, man, like, grow up, dude. Grow up, get a life. I'm gonna put in uh, something, which way should it go? This way, I'm gonna go like this. Up and down. Yep. I don't know if this is the right color, but it is now. That's not going to show over here, but I'll still put something over there. Give it a little life to it, you know? I'm just going to do this real quick, and I think I want some of this pink to stay here. Watch what I'm going to do with this. I'm gonna put some color there. Drop some there. All right. Okay. Hopefully, I didn't mess that up. All right. There's only one other thing I want to say that's like kind of weird. But not, it's not weird at all, actually. It's uh, factual information. Um, I've gotten like an, a considerable amount of messages or comments. Hmm. Okay. I've got a considerable amount of messages and comments where I'm just going to generalize the term for everybody here of what is said to me. Uh, people will say, well, uh, the one in particular was you know Bob Ross has nothing on you and I got to be I got to be just want to be really up front with I really want to be up front here and I want to tell you my feelings on how do I feel about that okay so listen up for somebody you know some people may think you know that's that's wonderful that's great I'm getting a little bit more blue on this fan brush that's great you know that's so awesome you know that people would say that about you but um I just want to say this you know, number one, please don't say that because here's the first thing. It's, it's definitely, it's the furthest thing from the truth ever, all right? And the other thing is, you know, people can't ever, you know, judge Bob, Bob Ross for his 26-minute paintings that, that were incredible to begin with. And if you would like to research it, you ought to research and see some of the stuff that he spent his time on. Um, he was uh, just one of the most incredible, most incredible humans that has ever walked on this planet. And his, his talent didn't just stop here with this, you know. And I've learned a lot about him. And I just want to say, because I think some lady got mad at me the other day.
because I said, well, I really disagree with that. Like I pretty much asked nicely, like don't, don't write that. That's just not even, it doesn't make me feel good, you know? But I just wanted to share that with you guys um, because I don't know, that guy has a very special place in my, you know, in my heart. So um, just telling you my thoughts. I don't ever want to be compared to anybody because nobody, nobody ever knows what's happening inside here. So I don't do this to be compared, you know. I do this uh, for continued life. And that's it on that. All right. Does that look like the right color? Maybe. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe I don't care. Maybe I do. Maybe you'll never know. <laughs> Maybe I should just shut up while I'm ahead. <laughs> That's right, Moran. Bob is the reason that we're both painting. Bob's the reason that I have a heartbeat right now as well. You know? He intercepted me. Literally. Literally intercepted me. Oh my goodness. One day, one day I'll tell the full story. One day I'll tell the full story. It's uh, a little too graphic for YouTube. I'll have to make it a download or something. I don't know. Um, make trees. Speed trees. All right, I'm just kidding. Put a few over here, too. They could grow back there, you know? This is fun. I have fun doing this. Can you tell? Can you actually tell? Um, don't mind the mess. We can fix it. And I, I wanted this to be a little bit more distant as well. All right. Don't mind the mess. It's, it's way in the background. Um, let me step back real quick. Okay, it's there. Like, we can see it. But... I'm going to do one quick thing. Would you guys rather, uh, Steve Sippler, hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. You can tell. Okay. Everybody can tell. All right. I have fun. Steve would know. He's been here a number of times. You know how, you know how, you know how much I, I love this. You got me in the mood to paint. I'm going to paint. All right, Nick. All right. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I have got to tell you something. I got to say it, Nick. Got to say it, dude. So Nick made this picture for me. I made one for him. Um, I lost my thoughts, so I put dark blue on there. I didn't mean to do that. So I made a, a painting for Nick because I just felt so happy for, you know, him painting. It's like so inspiring, you know what I mean, for, for what he's doing. So I made him a picture, and he made me one. And, oh, my goodness, you ought to see this thing. Like, you ought to see this thing. I, I don't know. This, I'm telling you, this kid is, like, so far past, like, my level of, uh, you, you, I'm telling you, I, I say, you got to follow him. You got to follow this kid. He's going to, you watch, he's going to make, he's going to make it very big. You'll see. Remember I said that. Just remember I said it. Leave a little of that there. Yeah, he's going to, he's going to make it big. That's for sure. I mean, this picture is going to be, I'm going to hang this thing up on the wall. I mean, it's just amazing. Like I was stunned when I saw, I was like, I had a buddy of mine with me, and he was like, holy crap, can you believe, like, look at this thing. I, I probably watched that video, that back, like, 10, 20 times. And I, I really appreciate it, man. I do. I appreciate it a lot. It means a lot to me. I'm very appreciative. I'm a, an appreciative human. I appreciate things. He's going to definitely put us both to shame. He's already there. Like, he's literally I'm telling you, you don't, you don't believe him? Go watch him. Go, go watch this kid. All right. Okay, so I'm going, to put some, I'm going to put some distant trees in the background, but I have an idea. Let me wipe my fan brush off real quick. So I want to try something real quick. I don't know if this will show up, but I'm going to take, I'm going to take some white paint, right? And I'm going to do this. Just here in the center where 
I got some stuff going on, right? Now, I don't know how this is going to show up. And for the people on Facebook um, that, that may be watching or, or listening, um, Nick's channel is on YouTube, Nick's Oilscapes, and so is Bram's is on YouTube as well. Bram, well, most of you guys, if you're here on my page, you should be on Bram's as well. Happy Trees Art by Bram. You should definitely, his page and definitely Nick's YouTube channel. I don't know, I don't think Nick has a Facebook page, but uh, he has a YouTube channel and get over there now because you wait too long, he's gonna have a million subscribers on that channel. Remember I said it. December 21st, 2020. Okay. All right. All right. You guys are, you guys are, uh, you guys make me uh, feel, feel good. Well, you know, feel even better. You know, that's, this makes me feel good. You guys make me feel better. It's like, of course I love uh, feedback and good comments. You know, I love that stuff, you know, just in case anybody wasn't sure of what I was just saying. Like, I love that stuff. Just don't, you know, just don't try to say that Bob don't have nothing on me. Like, don't say that, you know, I love that guy. Don't say that. It's not true anyways. Like, you know, and I, and I get it. Some people are blinded by like, you know, maybe I have certain influencers that I love no matter what, like, you know, and maybe they, they're, I'm trying to like, could be, I'm trying to think of the best way. Somebody that rides a BMX bike and does like bike tricks. Like maybe I, I'm, this isn't the case. I don't watch anybody that does that, but maybe there's somebody out there that I like so much because of their personality or whatever. But technically, the guy that's the best in the country, I don't think he's the best because I like the guy with the, I, I don't know what the hell I'm even saying here. I'm just trying to justify, <laughs> I'm trying to justify what I said earlier. A little bit more white here. Enough of that probably, you know, but I'm just, no, nah, it's just, it just, it comes from respect. I'm a very respectful person. I have a lot of respect um, and I've had the opportunity to stay in Bob's house and um, that right there changed a, even a bigger part of me you know it's like full circle you know one of these days full story to come guaranteed guaranteed it's coming but um, changed me in a good way you know I got to stay you know there in the house of uh, I don't know just stop. You get the point. How does that look? Tell me how it looks. Hmm. Are we dropping viewers again? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's all right. I mean, at least I admit it. I'm a boring guy. I'm a boring, boring guy. So I can't hear. I see no captions. Can anybody else hear me? Do I have a uh, voice? Somebody said no captions. I can't hear anything. <laughs> anybody see or hear no captions so I can't hear see okay can you guys hear me can't wait to hear it uh, hmm all right how about uh testing one two three four five can somebody give me uh something you hear me okay all right just made somebody said they couldn't I just happened to look down for that comment all right so it looks good Okay, here comes the fun. Now let's just cover everything up that we just did. Okay, cool. Sounds good. All right, I'm going to go back to the fan brush here. Feel free to share the video again if you guys like for the 25th time. Fan brush. My beautiful palette. And... Uh, uh, Hold on. Why do I do that every time? Just one second, guys. I just stabbed myself with paint again. Hold on. Just trying to wipe it off. I'm clumsy. You ought to see me. When we do classes here, everybody leaves with, the, they got paint all over them, but it's not from them. It's from me, like, walking around trying to help them. I get paint on them. I wonder the meaning of oh, my tat. Oh, yeah. 
That's right. Well, one of these days I'll tell you the meaning behind them because uh, I don't know that I can do that here. I don't know that I can do that. Not sure. Maybe it's... Uh, um, but the images that are there are very... Uh, it's uh, the interesting stories and they're very meaningful. So maybe one of these times if you guys are interested and in I'll tell you what, since you're all watching right now, I mean, I did lose a lot of viewers, but if you would like me to make a video on, I got, I mean, I'm covered by the way, and tat I got, they're all from my waist. I mean, I got tattoos everywhere. They're all over my legs and, um, and my arms and just everywhere. But uh, I'll tell you, okay, so first, first thing is first. If uh, I need to know, because I'm going to watch this back when we're done, if you guys want me to make a video, and be honest, if you want me to make a video and tell the, you know, just tell the story and the meanings behind my tattoos, please let me know. Let me know right here in this chat or whatever this is called, let me know, okay, so I know. And secondly, I'm going to tell you a fun little fact right now that I don't think I've ever said. Okay. All right. All the tattoos on my arms, on my, on my arms and everywhere, those were done by one of my best friends on the planet, his name is Brett. He is in the shop right that way, two doors down. Um, fun fact, from my waist down, the, all the tattoos that I am covered with, yes, I did myself. I, uh, I did that myself. So no more on that. But anyways, fun fact about that. I tattooed everywhere, and I tattooed the hell out of myself. Um, and that was a long time ago. And I will tell you the reason that I did it. I did that. I did one and I'm covered because I wanted to feel pain. Um, and uh, I just don't want to talk about that right now. So I'm just going to get back to what I'm doing here. And that was making some trees. So let's get some blue and black. I think I'm gonna do, I want I want this showing. So let me see how I'm gonna do this. I'm just gonna pop in some things here first and see. So I try to figure out, I try to map in like a little line when I'm making something. I try to figure out like the, the perspective, you know, of that. So maybe this is, would be the line here, you know? Maybe that's the line of how I want the ground to roll off, you know, of the canvas and then I don't think there was too many, I wasn't thinking over here, but like I try to do this, okay? And this is something that maybe it'll help you understand. This is how I do things. I mean, I make everything on video, so you guys watch it, I, you know, you should see what, you know, this shouldn't be anything new, but if, there, if you are happen to be new here, you know, this is kind of what I do. I, so I draw this line, and the reason I do that is because let's just say we don't want this line, okay? If you don't want this line, look, we could just do this, all right? And the re it's just better than making a big grouping of trees. I'm just showing you real quick. I'm trying to show you little tips, you know, all right? You see, I, it's gone. It's gone. It's no longer there. So that's why I do that. So now let's get some more color here. And I'm just going to pop in some little things, you know? Got to see if that looks properly far. Yeah, it's good enough. It's good enough. I just don't know how far I should go over here because I got some other things happening, you know. Some things happening. Okay, and then we could just pop them up here. Okay. 
Okay, I feel a little bit wacky. Is that all right? At least I admit stuff, you know? <laughs> People don't admit stuff these days. I'm just like, whatever, man. You know, I'm like, I don't even care. I'm a weirdo. I'm just a complete weirdo. I'm not a weirdo. I'm just, I like to, I don't know. I don't know what I am. <laughs> tell You tell me, what am I? Maybe you have a better description. You guys know me, but probably better than I know myself. I try... I just try to be funny, to, to be honest with you. Most of the stuff that I say is said with a sense of humor, and I already know in my mind what I'm looking for when I say it, you know? I just, uh, I really like to see people smile or maybe laugh or whatever, you know? Because the truth is, you don't, you don't know certain things. You don't know who's having a bad day, you know? You don't know if maybe somebody's mom just died or you don't know, somebody's wife might have just walked out on them, you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't know those things. So if I can, if, if I can come here and, and say some, some crazy shit or some, some weird stuff to make you laugh, put myself out there a little bit, maybe that person that just had one of those horrible things happen to them, if they can crack a little smile, it just makes the day that much better, you know? So just in case anybody was wondering, I really... I care about all of you guys, everybody that's watching. I care about you guys. I, I really, I care about you. Um, I care about your feelings, okay? And it's true. I care about every single one of one of you guys. So <laughs> it's just me. <laughs> and I'm having a great time, by the way. I'm having so much fun doing this. I, I just, I really am. Like, I mean, this is just like. I almost want to say, like, I'm just trying to be honest with you. Like, I sort of feel like I'm not, like, real drunk. But, like, I got a really, it's like a really good, like, a buzzed up type of feeling. That's, like, you know, what I'm feeling. I don't know. I'm, what I'm saying is you should try this. You should try it. I'm going to put some more things over here so you can just. <laughs> Sorry. All right, enough. Back to serious mode. Let me get a drink. Okay, here we go. Back to serious. Just a couple more trees here. And then we and we will carefully blend these trees out. I'm going to take the two inch brush and I'm going to properly mystify these. Okay, I can't, I can't do that either. I'm just, all right, back to my self. So yeah. I hope you guys like watching me. I try to be funny. I don't know if I'm funny or not. I, I really don't know. After, after seeing all the people that blocked me after my positive posts, I don't know what the hell I am anymore, but I'm just going to put some mist under here um, because I think it's appropriate. And I'm going like, I'm going at a slow speed here because I think that might be favorite song lyrics. I'm a creep. Okay. Okay. Mm hmm. So just a quick question that I have for everybody watching, anybody watching, nobody watching. I can see the people watching on Facebook and I got to say, I'm not very popular over there. <laughs> I love you guys that are on there though. Um, but here's the deal. So let me tell you something that's interesting. Cause I don't, I really don't know if I've shared this with anybody before. I know Steve Sippler knows because he's been here a number of times. Um, I don't know if I told anybody else. Okay, so, because somebody was saying something about music just a second ago. Here is, yeah, somebody, if somebody could tell Sonia that I am, I am really working the brush, Sonia, I am definitely working it, you know, because she can't, she can't hear. If anybody wasn't sure, she's watching and she, she's unable to hear, not because she can't, you guys can hear, she, she has a hearing, you know, she can't hear. So somebody make sure, you know, tell her, be nice to her, you know, um, let her know that I'm, she said at my work, I'm working the hell out of this brush. All right. So let me tell you what I was going to tell you. Um, I've been playing, um, the guitar for 20 years. Did anybody know that? Has anybody known that ever? I was watching on Facebook decide to, all right, join the YouTube gang. Yeah. Get off of Facebook. Come on over to YouTube. We're having a party over here. I don't know what we're having over here. I'm having fun over here is what I am having. Yeah, so um, play guitar, 20 years it's been, 20 years. And I'll tell you, um, 
I, uh, I spent, I spent the mo my whole life struggling as a human, right? And yep, Steve knew that. I, I spent my whole life struggling, most of it, since I was uh, seven, about seven years old. And one of the things um, I used to do is this. I got to the point where I would sit in the dark, okay? I mean, complete dark. And I would play music with no lights on. And I would play for hours and hours. And I didn't realize back then what it was, what that was for me. But now I do. Because it's the same thing this is for me. It's the same thing. Beth said, I have you on Facebook and YouTube. Well, I appreciate that. You watch me. What do you got? Two phones or you got? That's so cool. That is so cool. But anyways, it was, that was my outlet back then, you know? YouTube PS4. So, time to check in on the how's it look, how's it look comment. Can you see what I'm doing here? How does that look so far? Can you see the, uh, the layers? Would anybody like to see me make a video playing a song? Um, maybe I'll never do that, so don't ask. <laughs> maybe I would, maybe I won't. Maybe I don't know. But yeah. Sometimes my friends will, you know, and I don't really have any friends at all, but so people that I've known, just recently I was somewhere and there, you know, somebody was like, oh yeah, you got to get, there was a guitar there. It was like a little party type thing. And one guy was like, oh, you got to get, he's got a piece, you know, this guy's crazy. He's incredible in the guitar. You got to, and I'm like, no, 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 I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. And then I, I eventually did it. You know, I just don't, I don't know why I don't talk about that that much, but very important part of my life. You know, still, uh, it, it still is. I don't, I don't play as much as I used to, but I love it. And I have um, several guitars. Uh, the acoustic guitar is one um, that I like to play a lot now. You know, in my old age and stuff, you know, acoustic becomes... It's, uh, you know, when you get old like me, I don't know, just simplicity, you know. So you'll see when you get there. You will see when you get there. All right, next. All right, let's start to give this thing some shape. I'm just having such a good time. I have a, Nick has an electric guitar. There you go. Look at this. I'm telling you. I See, I told you. He, he has all the elements. Nick has an electric guitar. What music do I I play... Everything from like the 70s and the 80s up. All the good stuff. Nick has all the elements, I'm telling you. I, I, I'm telling you right now. Mm. I just down that like a triple shot. Whew. Okay. Oh yeah, new show. Good idea. <laughs> Good idea. All right, let's try, let's okay, so you see what I just did here, right? Do you see the elements? I wanted this to look a little bit misty. Cool. Definitely all the Facebook viewers are dropping off and maybe coming over here to YouTube. All right. Here's how we start to take shape to this. I mean, at least in my opinion, um, you can do something like this. Let me just show you since we're all just here to have fun. I'm going to get a little bit darker of a color. This is how, you see this here, this color? I had it mixed up here with some white in it, so now I'm just getting blue and black, right? This is how you make a super easy type of a, a layer, okay? Watch this. Um, let me step back and figure out what's going to show through. All right, I don't want to make these too big, okay? So I'm going to do this. I'm going to just put a few of these here just so you can see that they're like in front. So I'm going to make them a little bit stumbled. These guys are a little bit drunk back here, okay? <laughs> Fun fact, too. I make jokes all the time about, like, drunk and being drunk and drinking and drunk and all that stuff, but um, I don't even drink, just in case you guys wondered. I, I don't drink at all. Zero. Nothing. Um, the last time I drank 
was December of 2019, mid-December. Um, and that's because I, it was like a extremely crazy, successful thing that I did, attended. I don't even know the right words to use for it. Um, so I got trashed and it was just great. I, I mean, not too trashed, trashed. I think I had maybe 20 or I don't know, like maybe 30 shots of fireball. It wasn't much. It was just, you know, but I, you know, I was pretty good. But anyways, that was the last time I drank. I'm just adding a layer here. Do, do, do. Stay away from that fireball. Stay away from that fireball, whatever you do. Okay. You don't drink water. No. So you see this here? I'm making a layer. I keep saying it. Light color in the back, and I, I don't know how much. I got a big tree. I'm gonna put maybe one more here, maybe one or two. It's just a darker color. Darker color. See? All right, and then I don't wanna mess up here because I got some big guys going, and maybe just one more. I'll just put a little bit more of a something here. All right, and then I'm gonna put, I'll put a little mist under this guy as well. Bring him down just a little further to show him be a little bit closer. All right. Go back to the two-inch brush. <laughs> if you guys heard me five minutes ago, I like joking. Put put uh, use your brains. I like joking. <laughs> I like joking. I had uh, maybe two or three shots. I was trying to create a uh, reaction there. You see what I'm doing? Just loosen you up a little bit. So look, I'm, I'm just, see how I'm tapping there? I'm just making a, uh, I don't even know, what am I doing here? I'm doing, I'm just trying to make a nice soft look, okay? Just a soft little, like, you know, these are just kind of, it's like a, maybe a, I don't know if this is morning or night, or I don't know what this is, but it's just a soft look, like they're there. You know what I mean? All right, now we can start to do what I wanted to do. I'm going to start to add a little shape to this. And I'm thinking, yeah, I have a little, get some blue and black here. Blue, black. I'm going to draw a little couple lines here and, and try to see where I'm going. I want to make like a frozen stream. Frozen stream. So, I want to come from back here, maybe like this. I want to keep some of the blue in there. I want to come around, you know, like that. Let me just take a look at that real quick. Not too much. Just going to come out like this. It's going to come here. And then I can refine this. I can refine that. So, I'm just stepping back, having a look at this, trying to figure out exactly what I want to do. This is like, I want it to be a little stream. It comes back there. And as it gets to the front, it's going to get thicker and darker as far as like this shadow. You know, so right here, I'm just going to put some dark color in here. This is going to be a shadow right here. This is a shadow, a little, you know, get, it's going to get smaller and smaller as it gets back there. You see, it's just shoom, coming from nowhere. All right. Maybe make this go like this. <clears throat> okay. Now this is sort of like just an outline, you know, of what's happening here. And there's not going to be a strong shadow on this side. You know, because maybe it just runs off wherever, you know, maybe it's not a completely frozen, maybe it's just a dip off like in the ground, you know. So I will drop some shadows in here. Um, leave some of that pink. I think that's important. You know, let me grab, I'm going to get me um, a filbert brush here. Uh, Oh, 
through. Okay. I'm going to get a filbert here. We're back. <laughs> what? Oh, okay, we're back. Okay. I'm going to take this filbert. Look what I'm doing. And I'm just kind of like, uh, I'm almost like, it's almost like I'm blending it, right? But I'm thinking about how do I want the land to go? You know, do I want it to go up on a hill? I'm just softening that area right there. I'm kind of getting it set up, you know? I need some inspiration. Well, Andrew, we are glad to have you here. Thank you for joining this channel. I'd like to invite you to like, share, subscribe. I'm just, I'm just joking. I'm glad you stumbled across the video. Thank you for being here. Appreciate it. I'm just trying to show people the, uh, the way, you know? Look, say, be, all right, here's a good example, so pay attention. You see this here? I can do one of two things, okay? My land, the reason I put this here, I can go like this. So let's say the ground, look, the ground could just go like that. You see how that's flat? I'm setting myself up for the, uh, the ground, the ground to be flat, but I don't have to do that. Watch this. I can drag this up. I can go like this. Let me steal some color. I'll give you right back. I can make it be a little, you see? I can turn that now into a little hill. You see what I'm doing here? I can change the angle. And this is, um, I am just, I'm setting myself up for highlights and things like that, and shadows and all of the things. All right. So it's going to be darker. Let me get some more paint on here. Get a little bit more of that beautiful black color in here. Da -da 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 -da. Enough talking about uh, shots. Let's get to business here. Come on. Watch this, dark color. All right, this is the shadow. I'm gonna define this edge here. And we'll probably put, you know, some nice white over top of that to sparkle it up a little bit. Okay, give this a little shadow going in here. And maybe, I don't know, maybe it just comes around the corner. I'm just dropping some shadow, see? Let me get a little bit more blue up in here, because blue is a beautiful color for shadows. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, okay. Sorry guys, I genuinely feel very good doing this. All right, just in case there's anybody on here that just happens to not have a sense of humor. See you, Sonia. Thanks for being here. Um, yeah, me and Bram are on it. Um, we're definitely on it. Me and Bram will definitely, um, Tell me, you know, unless it's a, something different, but I, I'm pretty sure that me and Bram are going to be doing stuff in the future. I definitely know that I'm 100% up for it. Bram's a very good person, um, and I don't talk to many people at all, um, but Bram is, uh, he's one of them. He's just a genuine guy. Like, you know, I, I feel like I have a pretty good sense of judgment when it comes to people, and he's just a good guy. So, you know, definitely. Um, uh, if it's up to me, you know, I uh, will definitely be planning on doing a lot of things in the future with him. You know, sky's the limit. All right. Light's going to be coming this way. And you see, if I'm putting shadows in any area that maybe they don't belong, we could just cover those up, you know, with like with some white. So when I'm coming off of the uh, edge of the canvas, I don't want it to be a perfectly straight line. I want it to kind of do one of them numbers, you know what I mean? Where it, it's not perfectly even, you know what I mean? I haven't said you know a lot tonight. That's what's different. Um, need some dark color here. This will make sense in a few minutes. And then I just want to get, I'm going to have, let me take a look at this real quick. I want, we're going to need some really dark color in here. I'm just setting myself up here. 
dun, 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 dun. Can you guys hear the background music tonight? Can you hear the background music? Hey, you want to see something cool? <laughs> Check this out. See this? It's wood. You hear that? Watch this. It's a magic pen, magic paintbrush. What am I, why am I holding it to the canvas? Look. Can you see that? It's actually uh, it's a magic brush. See? It's good for the brush strokes. It doesn't hit the canvas too hard. It softens up. On sale, $99.99. No music. Music is my favorite part. On 40. Okay. Welcome music. Well, I just took care of that. You know, I had to yell over to the studio manager and he'll take care of it. Which is nobody. Myself. How do you like the rubber paintbrush? Um, a couple shadows back here, but not probably not too many because the further back you go in a painting, you want it to appear softer. You know what I mean? You want it to be softer. Now I am putting other trees in here, so I'm just trying to get the, the mood, get the tone, get the tone set. You know? Oh, why hello there, little screen. Um, let me just do two things real quick. I'm going to set the palette down. Um, set the palette down. I'm going to step back six feet. Let me just maintain a six foot socially distant space from my own painting. It looks pretty good. What do you think? I like it. I like it a lot. All right, throw that one away. All right, um, two inch brush time. Two inch brush. Now, I like to do this when I'm Jackie Greco. Beautiful painting. Music is good too. Thank you, Jackie. I'd like to definitely thank you and say Merry Christmas, all the good things. Jackie is a loyal follower and uh, is uh, one of my considered collectors. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I, I don't even think anybody knows how much I appreciate it. I don't, I don't even think so, but I do. I appreciate it. I love you. Thank you. Love all you guys. And thank you. It means a lot. It means a lot to me. Um, softening up things. Softening some things up here in the scene because it just looks better. Now, when I get too close to the front, I don't want to soften it too much, okay? Little tiny bits, little baby pieces, because it, it's gonna give me that harsh shadow texture when we get close, up close and personal. All right, all right. I'm just softening it up. I'm getting ready to put some big old trees in here. You know what I'm saying? All right, all right. What do I need in life? I need, I need, what do I need? What do I need? I feel like we need something here as well, but I don't know what yet, so I'm going to do something. I'm going to set this brush down, and I'm going to find my dirty one-inch brush. And I'm going to take, let's do this. Let's see. Can't you see? All right, get some of this, which is a dark sienna, right? Let's experiment. Oh, this wood is eating my paint. It's it's uh, thirsty. Thirsty palette. Thirsty palette. Okay. Uh, hmm. Dark uh, sienna, red, white. What the hell am I doing right now? I wonder if people look at me weird when they when they pass me in the road. It's like, oh yeah, I seen that guy's live stream the other night. Stay away from him. If you were as happy to be alive as I am, you would understand. It feels good not waking up every day wanting to hurt yourself. You know, it really does. That's no joke. I'm not looking for any sense of humor there. It really feels good not to get up in the morning and to want to harm yourself. So, thanks to this, you know, 
tonight. Um, I'm trying to mix the color. I don't even know what I'm doing. Let's just see what it looks like on the canvas. I want it to be like a wintry brown red. I don't even know that that's a wintry color. Um, I want to put some baby distant trees, but I want them to be different. I don't want them to be pine trees or whatever those things are. You know what I'm saying? I hope I don't have Fleetwood Mac playing. If I do, I'm going to get the videos taken down <laughs> for copyright infringement. All right, enough of that. Is that. Oh, yeah, I like my life. Look at this. That's what I was sort of looking for, and that is a distant beauty right there. Mm hmm. A little bit more brown in my life right here. See, I knew I needed something, but I don't want to kill my layer, my beautiful little thing back there. Hmm. Okay, a little bit more, a little bit more of each one. Just make it a little darker right there. You know, let's see what we can do with this. I'm just putting some base colors in there to see uh, what's happening in life. And uh, let me just try this. Let me just try to take the same old, uh, let me just see what this does real quick. I'm just grabbing. A uh, little bit of white, a little lighter color here. I don't know if this is the right thing to do or not, but this is how I figure things out because I just do them. Um, two inch brush. Let's get that guy real quick. I just want to try to see how this looks. I'm going to try to just soften this a hair. Because I'm just trying to, you know, I want it to be soft. And in the background, you know. You know, so that's some form of a something going on back there, you know what I mean? Um, Next, 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 next. All right, now is when I want to get some of that that same, sort of that same color, but it's darker. And I want to try to make a different type of thing. So I'm going to get some of that sienna and that red, dark sienna and red. Dark sienna. Yeah, I saw somebody said varnish the palette. It looks pretty varnished, but it's eating the paint, which is cool. No problem. Palette's got to eat too. have a little black because that looks right black all right here we go I wanted to do what do I want to do I don't want to be too crazy of a big tree but I want to try to put something in this vicinity 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 how the hell do you say that vicinity vicinity I don't know don't ask me I'm just popping in some color, just some base color here. Base color. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't want to kill my trees, but don't want to kill my trees. Uh, mm -hmm. I want to go right in front of just one, just so it shows, you know, that it's in front. You know what I mean? So. Now I'm just dropping some weird random color here. So I'm going to have to make this one stand out a little bit more. I don't even know if this is the proper brush here to use, so I'm going to go over here to the big bad two inch brush, big guy, just, <clears throat> yep, a little dark in there, all kinds of stuff. Here's how we do it. Here's how we do it, right here. We just got to get some texture, oh, that's what I was needing, get some nice dark color in there. Some Contrast. Contrast is a good thing. Don't be afraid of it. All right. Uh, now, I want to just, yeah. Now I got to figure out something here in a second. Let me pull some of this color out. I need some dark. It's not dark enough. 
brown. That's because the palette took all the oil out of my paint. Now I gotta figure out how to shape this thing up here. There we go. There we go. Especially down here, we need dark. I'm just gonna use straight black down here. See? You know, something like right around there. Maybe this branch happens to come, you know, all the way out there. I don't know. It does something like that. Now, I wanted to make something that looked a little goofy, you know, a little goofy and a little weird, you know, just for the sake of being weird. Right off the top. Thing. It just goes wherever. I don't know. This is the goofiest looking tree I've ever even dreamed of. Now, let's get to reality. I'm going to set down the two inch brush, wipe off of something else here, get a filbert, and uh, try to give this a little life to it. Try to bring it to life. So, filbert looks about right. I'm going to take a little white paint and some of that dark sienna, I think just a nice light color. And I want to try to think about, you know, you know, something running through here like a branch, but that's not bright enough. So I want it to be lighter, nice and lighter. I want it to come like this, little wiggles in it and stuff. I just want it to be seen, you know, you know, you know, you know. I want you to see me, all right? So I'm just thinking about some background thingies. All right, uh, let me do one of these numbers here. Take the one inch brush, put some of that stuff down there. And I'm thinking, let me get some white. Get some nice, I'm gonna thin this down a little bit. Thin it down. I'm thinning this down. See how this looks. And, mm-hmm. I might need to thin that a little bit more. Okay. Now I want to start trying to put on, hmm, let me see here, little things, you know? Maybe I'll just tap it, get some more texture, you know? Something like this. Maybe I'll go like this, I don't know. Who knows, just whatever. Think about there. Trying to scare, get this brush to open up a little bit. Something like that, maybe. I want to go there. I want to put little layers and things, little, you know, little things in the trees, you know. This white is like, this is crazy. This paint is so, uh, it's incredibly thick right now, you know, because the uh, palette, but I'm just gonna work with it, you know? Gotta work with it. I gotta do something because this one inch brush is just not making the cut here, you know? Gotta get one that's good and bristly. Good and bristly, if you, if you didn't know what that meant. Mm -hmm. So I can get some shape in here. I'm a little red in my life here. A little red. Got to have some color. Okay, that's looking better. I can now put some things on here. Like subtle, you know, not too crazy. Get some more red. There we go, let's put one there. Just popping them, you know, where up, just putting things in, you know? And then I gotta figure out where I'm gonna terminate this tree. There, there, there. Little, little 
those things. Red was a good idea. That's two some there, just so you can see it. Maybe some there. Then we gotta have some there. Just want it to be a little, maybe there's a bush here. A little bush there on the ground, you know, it just covers his little area here. And then there's one more to kind of frame this in. Right in front of the little root. You know, just popping in some little things here, you know what I mean? I'll drag the bottoms of this out and then I'll put some highlights on it. But I was just trying to think. Um, let me do, let me actually get a little blue on here. Let me try something. things here and there. I'm just doing, I'm just popping stuff in here wherever, you know, just kind of, I don't even know what's going on. Just doing it, just putting all kinds of bright things in here. Oh, I don't want to do that. I'm going to set the palette down on the brush. Move this over here. Let me step back and analyze and evaluate what's going on here all right because I have something that I want to put in front of here so let me just go ahead and start doing that right now so, so I want to take some of this straight up dark uh, sienna and some black dark sienna and black and I have a couple things going here but I want to put tree that kind of goes like this. All right, black and some brown goes right into that bush. We can cover that up. It's just kind of sort of in the background, you know, just a little element, a little element. And then few little things here maybe. And then maybe there was one coming right around. I'm just trying to get myself set up here, you know, what I'm saying. You heard, you heard me. Something like this, this, and then maybe there's a little, even a little guy growing right there behind that bush, you know. Just putting in little, you know, all kinds of little things. All right. All kinds of little things like, so there we go. Let me wipe this off real quick. Let me see how I feel about little adding a little depth. So I'm going to take some black paint, right? Black, black paint. And I'm thinking about the side. Um, and do one of these numbers here. I'm just thinking about a little bit of depth. So I'm going to darken the side that I think the light isn't showing on. Okay. With some black. See? I'll do the same thing to this thing in the Virginia right there. All right. And maybe a little there as well. So this will give us a tad bit of texture, not texture, you know, uh, I don't know the word I'm looking for, not variety, maybe some depth. I don't know. Okay. Um, all right. Before I go too far,
grab a liner real quick before I go too far. I just want to take uh, maybe, yeah, some of this brown color real quick. I do want to put a few uh, branches in here. Just in case I, I don't want to work backwards. Don't want to work backwards. I want this to be noticeable. Get some more of that color there. And then maybe there's a, you know, little ones here that run off this way. Just wherever that, you know, wherever they feel right. bunch of little you know sticks and things over here as well the little guy is trying to grow up you know just little things and we can fix the bottoms of those in a minute and if you want to get real technical there is something wipe this brush off real quick Set it over here so like let's I can just grab that filbert if I can find it what I'm gonna do with it it's right here wipe it off if you want to do this we can take let me get a little bit of this stuff here in my life put that down there scoop up some just some white paint a little bit of white going on all right watch this watch this I'm going to get on the filbert, some white paint on the filbert if you wanted to bring a little bit of texture, a little bit of highlight in here. We can, shh, not too much because we could mess up the effect, maybe, maybe I already did, maybe I don't care. Just putting a little white on the edges and then I'll work that in, all right, just like this, just to give a little tree texture. like nice three dimensional thing mm -hmm. okay. and if you want to get really technical you could do this you could take some blue just because it's a painting and come in here and drop a little blue on this side right there and see a little bit of blue never hurts anything doesn't hurt a thing anyways just my thoughts my thoughts on life you know that off. Let me wipe this two inch brush off. I'm just going to wipe this real quick and see something. Um, nope. That's too dirty. I got to move that guy out of the way here and get me, uh, I don't need nothing crazy. I'm going to get me uh, a little help from Bob right here with his little round brush. I just want to see about I want to see what this would look like with a little mist right here, like misting it, misting, mystifying it. Steal a little bit from there. Go back to my dirty brush here, that dark color. Okay. Because I'm about to put some snow on the ground, you know. I just wanted to see what this would do. Come over here, soften all this stuff up, see? You can soften all kinds of things up to make it look nice and peaceful and, you know, all kinds of good stuff. 
you know, this could be a hill right here, you know. Uh, it could definitely be a hill. We could take some blue shadow colors right now and drop some blue in here. Watch this. We're gonna make, we're actually, we're gonna make this tree growing down on the hill. It's gonna go like this, and then it's gonna go over. Get the fan brush real quick. Smooth some of this out. It's a big hill. How many times am I going to say that? All right, now for the bottom here, you know, you think about this is like a frozen stream, right? So watch, I'm gonna to wanna to do this before we go too, too far. I'm gonna to wanna to come in here and I'm gonna think about, because some of this shows, even if it's frozen, you know, it's gonna be frozen in time. So I'm gonna pull some of this down. All right, but I don't wanna kill the pink. You know, I like the pink a little bit down on this side as well, maybe. We can redefine edges if we need to. Let me go back here to this guy. And let me just give it a reassurance pull. Like one of like a like a confidence booster pull. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Got us some handy dandy little reflections right there. Exhale. Okay. Uh, let me take a look and see where we should go. All right. Let's do this. I'm going to put um, a few decently feeling pine trees on the other side here, right here. Okay, oh lordy, help me. Urgh. You guys gotta remind me to stop wiping my brushes on the paper towels and then wiping myself, face, arms, lips with them afterwards. All right, I'm gonna put some a couple of pine trees back here real quick. So to do that, let me do this. Get the palette here. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, dark color. Uh, blue, black. Okay, see what we got here? Nice dark color, blue and black. Mm hmm. Looks good. Good enough for me. Blue and black. I'm gonna put in a few, I don't want them to be too big because I got something happening up front here, I think. Put in something that stands out right here. Okay, there he is. There he is. What? Really? Okay. Let's do this. Make an uppy tree. Start in the center. Start in the center, work your way out. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. You get it, you can count. Mm -mm -mm. Merry Christmas tree. There we have one. this one a little bit more skinny. Mm -hmm. 
Good. And then, um, so what do we got going on here? Hmm, maybe? Yeah, let's do it. All right, I got an idea. Got an idea. So, don't even know. I'm just gonna put a few more in here because I got an idea. I'm just gonna smash them in. Smash them, right? Smash them up, smash them in. One more. One more. He's kind of going like this. He's growing off. Get some more paint, straighten him up a little bit. Just smashing some color in because I'm going somewhere with this, I think. Um, maybe one more in the center here to kind of offset the crooked guy. All right. Let's give him a little nice little poop right there. Straighten him up. Little background things. Um, now, let me set this down and get... Um, all right, I'm going to try this real quick. I don't know why. I was just, I'm going to try to soften the bottom of this up. Let's see what happens. Because I still got to put some like some snowy type stuff in here. You know what I mean? So that could be, you know, a thing maybe. Maybe this could be like a little bush. Let me actually use this. I always wanted to use this do this. I was thinking about I love when Bob uses it. Bob uses this thing like a boss right here. Like if you agree. <laughs> literally this round thingy literally uses this thing like a boss. I'm just adding a few under thingy under bushes. Um where I put the snow and I want to put a few here. Oh yeah, oh yeah, look at that. I'm liking it, I'm liking life. Who says there isn't bushes? I gotta leave some room for the snow though before we go bushing everything up. trying to think here real quick about um, what do I feel like what do I feel like doing bridge that gap real quick right there might as well that could be all bushes I don't know we're gonna figure it out here in a second we're gonna figure everything out because that's what I do problem solver literally well sometimes Sometimes. All right. Let's get the old palette here. And I'm trying to think about snow. So two approaches. I'm running out of white. No problem. Ooh, that's, that's rough looking. Let me see. Let me get this knife here. I don't want any brown snow. <laughs> yeah, this palette, is, uh, it took all the oil out of the paint, which is fine. Which is fine. Just see something here. Let me just think about snow running down the hill real quick. Let me see how this does for me. I'm just I'm just winging it at this point, everybody. Just so you know, 
Nothing wrong with uh, winging it from time to time, you know? Wing it. Now I'm gonna work all this in here in a minute. thick. Just thinking about little areas here, you know, I'm going to work that in with a fan brush or something. Just trying to put some snow in the background here. But I don't want to make it too, too obvious. What the hell did I just say? I don't want to make it too obvious. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that, was, uh, that was interesting. Put some snow here, but I don't want to make it too obvious. Um, I don't want to make it too obvious in my snow scene. <laughs> All right. All right, I'm going to blend, you know, I'll blend and soften this stuff. Actually, let me show you instead of just sitting here telling you. Uh, all right, let me set this palette down. When I mean soften it up, I mean this. Get my hand off. I need a bigger area here. So I'm just going to wipe this fan brush off, right? And when I say soften, I'm just thinking about, like, you know, just kind of moving the snow around a little bit and I can put like little final little highlights on if I want you know what I mean bring it right down into there see and this is you start to bring it to life and you can make little darker areas and lighter areas and stuff and we can adjust all that you know this is just an approach that brings some right into the lake if you choose to do so it's your life back here will really soften this up nice and bright leaving some of those shadows in there see So you can just shape things, you know, shape new little hills and things like this. Now this wasn't a hill a minute ago, but now it is. And we can add some snow on top of that. Is there a hashtag that we can use to share our winter paintings? Everybody that's on here, there is a group on Facebook and it says paintings by Justin. I don't know, Q&A something. Does anybody on here watch me that knows what the group name is? Why does that look so dark? Mm, okay. Does anybody? Can anybody share that link? Uh, if you go on Facebook, it's Paintings by Justin, Q group for Q&A or something like that. I'm brightening up your life. Stand by. <laughs> How's that look? Delay, delay, come on, brighten, brighten. Yeah, I don't know what's going on here. I'm not going, I know what's going on. That was just a little too dark. We need some light in our lives. Lives, lives, lives. All right, back to this. See, look, I'm just giving you like a little illusion, see, of little, this is a little snow that, shoo, shoo, right into the lake, see? It goes like this, and then 
maybe a little piece goes into the lake. I'm gonna darken some of it up. See, I'm just working it. Making little bumps and things. You know what I mean? I'm just trying to give illusions um, to what's happening here. Here's our tree, trunk, I mean, going there. All right, I want it to be soft. And I haven't even done anything with bushes yet, but do you get sort of an idea? Does that make any sense yet? Or no? Yeah, I brightened it up. I didn't want it to look dark and dingy, so I brightened it up a little bit. Um, let me grab some. Let me just grab a little bit of white paint here. And we got that right here. Today's video is brought to you by Gamblin 1980 Paints. Uh, link in the description. Head on over, get yourself some fresh white 1980 paint made by Gamblin. Best stuff in the world. You're welcome, Gamblin. Have a great day. There we go. The link is there. Um, oh, goodness. Lord, help me. I just did something bad down here. Hold on one second. Spilled something. Uh, two people have the link. I see it. Um, thank you guys both for putting that there. Somebody had asked, like, where can you share your paintings? I think that's the best group, uh, you know, to do that in. So, you know. I just put a little bit of white here, not that uh, that's like barely enough, but we're going to try something before I go too, too far. I'm going to wipe off this handy dandy little brush right here. So if, yeah, if anybody wants to go on there and share their uh, thing paintings or whatever, you know, it's a, probably a good place. I don't know. I'm just wiping this off. And I want to try something real quick. Now, sometimes I got to be careful because I don't want to brighten the picture up so much to where it's just all one crazy light color. So I'm going to go over here, thin some of that down. This is like a whitish blue color. Let me see how this looks. I wanted to thin it more. Hello, my friend. This guy needs a little bit. A little there. Boop. A little bit there. All right. And then I wanted to go. You know, I don't know, just popping in some, I don't know, frost, whatever this stuff. I don't know what this stuff is. It's something, you know, some kind of frost happening here. You could do this after, before, but I'm going to put some snow down. I just thought it'd be cool to make a little frostiness happening, you know, like right, even in the front here as well. Here. But you see, you don't want to make it too bright. You don't want to brighten the whole thing up, you know what I mean? To where it's just one big, one big bush. You don't want to do that. You know, so I'm just going to pop in a few little things here just to make it look, you know, like it blends in with the earth or something like that. Not too crazy. Not too crazy. Okay, well, it looks like uh, the link is definitely up there. Um, a number of people have shared it. I mean, if 
Somebody asked about sharing their paintings. Right, let me see something here. Before I go too, 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 too far. Um, yeah, darken it up. That's what we're missing. We got to darken this thing up. Let me go ahead and get probably the filbert brush if I could stop wiping every bit of paint on me. Where you at, Filbert? There you are. All right, I'm going to get some dark color because now watch. I want to, I probably, you know what? I could probably just use the knife. Let me grab the knife. Here we go, knife. All right, knife. Uh, get some of this dirt here. Dark color. Make sure you get some black. See? Now I want to, I just want there to be some texture and life. I want you to know it that we're getting close. It's getting close, you know, because it's going to get dark. And we'll work all this color in. You know, but the ditch should be dark when it gets closer. And we'll put like a water line and all that stuff in, okay? So I can set that down and wipe the knife off. And then I can go over here to whatever I have standing. Fan brush doesn't really matter. Doesn't matter. And then I can start to, you know, just kind of work this in. This goes uphill. See? Steal some of this here. I'm just kind of I'm just kind of working it in. You know, where I could just leave the texture if I want. You could that's another option as well. You know, but this is a hill. We said it's going upward, so there's going to be a few little shadows here, right? All right, something else. Let me do this real quick because some of this is going to, you know, reflect down some of this beautiful darkness, uh, whatever. Beautiful darkness. I'm just pulling this down real quick, like this. I'm gonna wipe that off. And I am gonna put a little bit more, you know, some more white on here. I'm just, that's why I'm telling you, I'm just kinda getting the shadow right here. You know, for the little, the hill thingy. See, I'm just moving around. I'm not really planning anything here. I'm just, I'm just moving around, moving some. I'm just thinking about if a hill, when it starts to go down towards the side, less sunlight or less light or whatever would be shining on that. If that makes sense. All right, over here to the white. It's a little thin because I had some thin stuff in it. So I want to, I'm just going to do this. Work that color in. See? Think about the edges here. Oh, right there, it's beautiful. See? Oh, hello. Angles are super important, too. They really are. smear this in a little bit. All right, because I got to do this now. Glots to do this, one of these numbers. Here we go. This is like one of the coolest things I like doing right about, right about here. Here we go. Ready for this? Okay. Let's bring this guy right around here. He comes like this, and he just... This ain't a water line. This is a. This is going to be an ice line. <laughs> Why hello? Hello, 
Mr. Ice. So good to see you. So glad that you are working out very well for me today, Mr. Ice. Gotta give him, gotta make it look like ice. You know, she's frozen. She's a frozen lake. Here we go. Let's give the feel of frozen to this side as well. You know, this side needs it too. Don't worry about dragging it up into the land because we can fix it. A few little ice skating spots back here, maybe. Okay. And just like that, we got ourselves a little pond that we can go ice skating on if we want. I don't know if I would. It don't look extremely thick. Um, you know, it's thick enough, but it don't look extremely thick. I don't know that it would hold me. It may hold you, but not me. So let me look for a nice, nice little pleasing blue, bluish, whitish color. Something. Let's see what I can come up with. Like a middle something. Some of this dark. Yeah, get it. It's dark. Oh, no black snow here, or blue snow. All right, now is when I got to try to try to get some actual, just like some straight white if I can. So I wanted to. Let me see. to put some nice like you know solid uh, highlight areas that are just like a pure white which may be hard for you guys to see Moving right along. Um, what am I doing? Let's do, I feel pain on my face. Hold on. Okay, got it. I'm gonna just get a brown and white color real quick. Let me try this. I don't think I'm gonna do any highlighting back here, but let me just, for the heck of it, let me just give this guy a little, little life here. A little, he's crooked, crooked. You know, I see a lot of people, you're writing, I suck at water lines. Well, let me give you a tip, and I'm serious, and I'm not looking, this ain't no sense of humor. Let me give you a tip. If you, I guarantee anybody watching this, if you start painting a picture, and you're at this point, and you're about to make a water line, and in your mind, you're saying, well, I suck at making water lines, I guarantee you it's going to be a shitty water line. And I'm being honest, and I'm being serious with you. Actually have a good attitude. Go in and be like, you know what? This is nothing. I'm literally putting a knife down and I'm just going like this. Whoosh. Do it, have the attitude. You're gonna get it. You, you're gonna get it. If you have a poor attitude, you will never paint a good water line. I'm just, I'm just being real, being honest with you. I'm trying to help you, okay? Go in with a better attitude. Believe in yourself. Believe in yourself once in a while. It does miracles. Let's put some stuff in here. Go a little bit overboard. All right, let me see here. All right, let me get some snow. I need a little bit more white paint to get me some snow. Ah, look at that, I said that, what I just said, and I lost like 30 people, and it, it is what it is. 
you know, um, is what it is. I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to help people understand that you got to believe in yourself to do stuff. You can't just, you know, you can't just have this, uh, you know, poor feeling about yourself and expect this miraculously to have this beautiful thing pop out in front of you when you're just, when you think you're horrible at it. So that's fine. No worries. I'm putting some snow in. See how this looks. Let me see how this looks. Well, I see what you guys are saying, and I get it. Like, uh, you know, I, I understand. Like, you know, you get discouraged. That's, and I get that. It's not unhuman like to get discouraged, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna do, um, would you, I say, I think I asked this before. You're gonna, you're, here's what you're gonna see. You're gonna see tickets pop up for a Zoom class, so keep your eyes peeled for that. You're gonna see, it's coming and it's gonna be limited. I'm not taking a lot of people, so, cause I wanna be able to interact and actually talk to um, people. So keep your eyes peeled, cause I'm, there's going to be uh, Zoom tickets to buy and I'm gonna have, to give you a little preview, I'm gonna have like, uh, a couple cameras and it's going to be super close up you're going to see what um, you're going to be able to see what's going on all right just to give you a heads up anybody know what time it is anybody know the time all right let me, uh, let me try something here. let me get this fan brush and where'd my drink go right there Steal some of this color here. Some there, little, little guys growing out into the water. Right there, 6:02. All right, 6:02. I got plenty of time. I thought it was later. I thought it was like nine o'clock. It's gonna put a little rubbish here. See, that's all of a sudden I just painted a background tree. See, there it is. Hmm. 9:02. Aren't my wearing? <laughs> Dude. Sorry, Steve, thank you. I am wearing a watch. I forgot. <laughs> Give me a minute. Are you wearing a watch? You know, it's just one of them days, you know? It's just one of those days. That's, that's all it is. All right, here, I got it ready to do what I wanted to do. Here we go. Let me get me, get me the magic filbert for this one though. Let me wipe this off. Put that there, here we go. With a Bob filbert, you can do anything. Here we go. I'm gonna get me, I'm gonna start off with some of this burnt umber. 
burnt umber. Here we go. This is my favorite part. I planned this. Zoom. Why do I keep doing this? Music, because I'm dancing to a song I heard earlier. <laughs> All right. I planned this. So don't think I'm winging it. You know what I mean? I planned it. I'm going to have to make some changes in my life here, though, with that. If I go, maybe you can grow off of there. Okay. Let's just, just do it. Let's just do it. Give him a nice, pleasing, something like that, right? We're just going to do it. We're just going for it. We're going for it. There's a base. All right. Here's the base. And we can come back up here. Give him a nice little pleasing shape. See, starting to grow now. we got to make them stronger. Give him a nice little... I don't want it to grow too crazy, but he does grow through the bushes. And maybe out into the river here, or whatever this thing is. Okay. We'll, we'll fix all that stuff here in a minute. We'll fix it all. I mean, this is a... He's a big one. This ain't no joke. He ain't a joke. Just getting that shape together, you know? Getting the shape. Let's put something here. Got to have one of them guys. They just make everything look right. One of them. Throws up this way. Told you them clouds wouldn't show through. I'm making little branches. Little branches. Look at that. With a <laughs> Bob Filbert, you can make branches. Like liner brush, little branches. <laughs> little background things. I'll actually use a liner brush to make them, but mm, I got to think about this for a minute because you see this guy here he grows down and I want his root goes chum, just like this I want that to be a little hill you can tell that's a little hill right there maybe I don't know another root grows this way he's got some roots I mean this ain't no joke this is strong tree he's a strong tree he's planted and we're gonna plant him in with some snow so uh, don't go anywhere yeah a crick is that how you say it crick I lost my Bob Ross fan brush. God help you. I'm so sorry for your loss. Um, all right, so now let's start to give it a little form and shape here. I'm gonna take the same old filbert brush and I'm gonna get some of this black, okay? Black. And I just want to, I wanna add some uh, dark color to a little bit of this tree. Okay, you could use a knife, but I'm not going to. This will help with the shape, uh, not the shape, the, you know, the dimension, 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 whatever you say. The, what am I looking for? Somebody help me. Somebody help me. Depth, depth, perspective. Three, not a 3D look. I'm just looking for darks and lights. So this is going to be dark, dark, down there, you know. Um, there's this so far. Now, let me set this down and wipe the filbert off real quick. <laughs> okay, now let me see here. Because I'm going to put some leaves and stuff on this tree, but I want to get it set up for something real quick. Let me just go ahead with the knife and try it this way and just see how this treats us. All right, first, I'm going to start off with a, just a blue 
like a shadow color, like a nice, uh, you know, nice blue color, nice pleasant, pleasant blue. Let me get some on the knife here. Let me see if this will stick. It needs to be lighter. Stick some of it here with the knife. Stick some of this color on. I'll show you what I'm doing in a minute. Just going to try to add some shadows and, you know, I don't know, maybe a little snow or something. A little bit some there as well. And that's sort of too high, probably. Well, that's a lot of texture. trying to make a point here. Got some even on this side. Set some there, there. I want to make some nice, yeah, just nice little texture, like little snow looking things. Now watch. So I put some blue on there. All right. Now let me do this. Why is it so messy? Okay. Um, make some room here. Wiping my knife off. I'm going to go ahead and grab uh, some now some white paint. This is just straight white. Okay. I'm going to take some white. one of these numbers. I'm really trying to exaggerate this um, to show you what I'm talking about. This paint's extremely thick. The palette ate the paint. Just Let me do this real quick. Let me just stick my knife into some thinner there we go. Thin the paint down with some paint thinner. That's better. Now it's super thin. I was trying to uh, make a tree that looked like, you know, like it had some snow on it, possibly. Now, let's do this. Let's do something like, maybe I'll try this one, I don't know. This one inch brush, let's see how this guy's treating us right now. But first, I need, I need to put that there, and I need to wipe it off. Ugh. Need to get some darker color. Let's work on some trees, maybe. All right brown and some red. All right, I don't know if this is going to be dark enough, so let me see. 
I don't know if I really like how this brush feels. I gotta, this is the one from earlier. I may just throw it away and get another one, you know what I mean? Maybe, we'll see. We'll see. Broken brush. things, you know? Just popping in some things. I got to make an imaginary branch. Which is going to be... My imaginary branch is going to be right here. And I'll make the branch afterwards. Imaginary. Right there, wherever here, down there, a little blue is fine. I'm just throwing some of this dark color in here because I gotta definitely get a different brush when I make the, the lighter color because, you know, this is definitely like the brush is a little goofy on this one, you know? I want it to be dark right there. There we go. Shaping up. This branch goes all the way over there. Who says it doesn't? You know? All right, now let me set that one down real quick because I'm probably just going to throw that brush away. So... Let me get this guy here, this uh, this bob brush for a minute, and uh, let's do this. Let's see how this looks. color. Some beautiful color in your life. There it is. There it comes. There it comes. The color, beautiful red. Who says there's not a red tree in the winter time? Right or wrong? <laughs> Who cares? All right, now let me see here. that. I like that. Nice little color right there. Highlight on top of the highlight on top of the highlight. You know, and if you want, we could, you know, you could pop in a few real quick here too. Look, I mean, if you wanted to, you know, a little couple of things over here, maybe there, there, this little guy has a bush on him. See? I mean, you could just go on and on a lot softer touch back there. You know, it's just a forest full of these things. 
do something with this over here though a little branch over here just kind of does that let me do this give him a little bit of mm. he's got a little bit there he's just limping along but you know he's doing it and I know I made the water line already but uh, you know if there was this up here we would definitely see some of this here what a bad idea why don't I just do that just a quickie you know just pull it down just giving you the idea you see like look Tap, 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 a little bit of that color there. It's in the lake, river, whatever it is. You know, blend it right in. You know, like there's some reflections there. You know, and it's not a, not a big deal to just take the knife actually and just go just like this. Get some of that, you know, just get some color back on here and just come right in here and just you know, drop it right back in or whatever, you know? See? No biggie, no big deal. I just thought it would be necessary, I don't know. All right, now let me do this. Let me set that brush down there real quick. There's this and let's do this fun thing right about where you at? Um, liner. Get the liner brush, and I just want to get some stuff thinned down here. Now watch. This is, you know, just think about like little, remember I said there was an imaginary branch? Look, there he is. He's just growing wherever. She comes this way. See, change of direction. See, he grows up off that tree. He's got some little baby branches here. And just grow these things everywhere. You know, whatever. I don't want to bore you, you know, with making branches all night, but just saying you can put these things wherever you want, you know, branches all over and then say you don't, you know, one gets in your way, you know, just come right back in here and just, you know, cover it up. You know what I mean? Like I'm just saying you could do just whatever you want, you know, or you can take the knife and do this. You could take the knife and actually like this tree got hit by lightning and these branches here you know kind of grow a little goofy but that's okay because I'm just trying to show you like you could just whatever make background stuff make a uh, branch kind of grow right out the front like this you can kind of go you can grow up this way too see just saying these are the branches that the lightning hit here they grow this way they don't grow like normal ones. Dun, dun. But what I'm trying to just show you is that, you know, if you need to cover some stuff up, don't be afraid to do so. Do you see what I'm saying here? Now this just became in the background. See that? And I'm just doing this with a knife. Right, you can make this branch go. I mean, you can do whatever you want. You see that? I mean, it's just like, yo, we're growing over here. I'm just trying to show you my point. All right. Make all kinds of little things. All right. Let me do the knife. Set it down. You know, and then you can go back in with the... Thanks, Beth. Thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Thank you for everybody that donates. Um, what you may not know is it helps me do more of these videos. It takes me away from my 
um, life of working like a crazy lunatic, and it allows me to come here and do this. All right, so what I was showing you is like, you know, you can cover some stuff up if you want to. You know, you don't have to, but you can. You know, you can just make all kinds of whatever you want. You know? Now I'm gonna put a few branches here, like this, and a couple growing out of the tree, something that'll like maybe stick out, to, you know, if somebody looks at this. See, it kinda grows this way. A couple little, maybe a few more little guys. Maybe this, you know, gonna make this grow up a little bit. See, you can fix that. You see, you know, you feel me? You feel me? Here we go. Boom. Haven't said boom in a while. Boom is uh, normally my regular videos, not the live videos. Merry Christmas to you are out of stock. What brand do you recommend? Well, just buy Bob Ross brushes. Yeah, it's a problem. My brushes were out of stock like the first day I got them last year. I'm going to put a branch. Look at this. This one grows this way. I like these little side kicks here. See, you could just make these look so soft or you know, whatever you want. See what I'm saying? Boom. Oh, yeah. I like it. I like it. Like it a lot, little guy here. He dropped a seed. <laughs> he dropped the seed. There he is. He's growing. He's off to a good start. I could do this all night. I could do this all night. I could do this for the rest of my life. I hope to do this for the rest of my life, unless something gets in my way. You never know. You never know. You never know. I may not be here tomorrow, but if I wake up, I'll be smiling. <laughs> tell you that. Ask my kids. They'll tell you. But um, yeah, on a real serious note, since you guys can't ever tell what I'm saying or if it's serious or not because of what I told you earlier, everything I say, I try to have a sense of humor. I, um, I do want to make sure that you guys all know that I um, appreciate you a lot. Just watching, you know, just the fact that there's a few people in the world that they maybe believe in me or believe in what I'm doing it makes a difference, you know. Um, and I want to thank you for that, you know, because you're all very, uh, very special and important to me. All right. And I try to do things to help people. I got my phone number at the top here. If you guys are interested, you can just text me and just say, yo, dude, add me to your list, you know, and then I'll add you on there. And I tell everybody I can't get back to you right away. I get a lot of messages, but a lot of times when I'm chilling out at nighttime, I will talk back to each one of you. It's not anything. It's myself. It's me. So keep that in mind. If you want, let me know. Text me. Okay, and just say, hey, add, you know, I'd like to be on your list. All right, just keep that in mind. Text the number up top. You will not get spam, anything like that. I tell people when I'm going live, sometimes I have uh, private, not sometimes, I'll have private conversations and things like that, things that I don't discuss here in public. Um, I do it there. I text back and forth. You know, and I just want you guys to know that. Um, there are things that I do with texting that I will never speak about here, okay? So keep that in mind if you're interested. If, you know, if you're interested, head over. Head over. Head on over. All right, just if you text me, you know, don't panic. If I, you know, if I don't get right back to you, all right? Do not panic. I get a little busy sometimes. All right, Sometimes I do a lot of stuff off of video, okay? I do a lot of stuff that I don't even talk about here, all right? Got a lot of things coming in the future, all right, that I've already been working on. Um, 
hello. Hello, goodbye. All right. All right, I know. I know. He's there. Watch this. Just because this guy's there, there would definitely be something, right? <clears throat> something showing. So that's probably... That's there. Good. Let me grab this brush. Let me do this. You know, whatever. <laughs> you get the idea here? You see what I'm doing? <clears throat> Back to this real quick. Let me just grab our knife. And I can just zip a line right over top of them. All right, let me get some nice color here. Love doing this stuff, man. Man, I love doing this. Um, why, do I, why do I keep doing it? I grabbed the wrong side of the <clears throat> liner brush. Sorry, as long as I don't eat it, which I've done several times. I tested out gambling paint, and um, it's not that bad. Don't eat it, but it uh, didn't get me sick or anything, just in case you accidentally ingest some 1980 oil paints. All right, all right, enough of that. Let's uh, do this. Let me do this. Real quickly. Microphone died. Hold on, my microphone died, guys. Everything's in the red over here. One second. Here we go. I ain't gonna work. Um, hold on. All right, so listen, here's the deal. Uh, Cause now I'm tied up, literally tied up. I have a, I have a damn cord here on the bottom. So I'm going to stand here for a second so you can hear me. I'm sorry about the no sound, but um, what do you guys think? Do you like this? I know I'm a little hunched. 
I got an idea. Hold on. Hold on. Problem solver, right? There we go. Take down my shirt. All right, so I'm plugged into the mic charger. So what that tells me is that my microphone just died. It tells me one of two things is either I have been doing this way too long or I am talking way too much that I killed the damn battery. It's supposed to last about six hours. So I just want to thank you guys for watching. I'm glad that you are here. I want to wish all of you guys a Merry Christmas. I know I said I wouldn't see it till next year, but I just couldn't resist. It was just uh, something that I needed today, if you understand where I'm coming from when I tell you that. Um, and you see the fun that I had here tonight, I would uh, love if you would try this because it'll change your life as it has changed mine. And um, it'll change, it'll change anything. If you have a bad day, this here, this will change it. And if you, uh, if you haven't seen that in my videos, I don't know what to say to you. I, uh, I really hope you guys try this. It's a life changer. How many times am I gonna say that? glad you're here i'm excited i just want to just rub my hand across this whole thing right now because i had fun making it and uh yeah nobody offered anything so here's what we're going to do now i'm going to just wipe this entire painting with my hand actually yeah, i'll probably use a paper towel so on the i'm going to do it you want me to do it should i do it should i just wipe it because we had fun making it we're not going to wipe it i'm just kidding i'm going to go though merry christmas you guys seriously um i hope you guys have a great uh a great christmas I'll probably see you shortly after Christmas, but if I don't have a great new year, if you'd like to text me, the number is up here, and uh, just don't panic if I don't get back to you right away, but I will. God bless you guys. Thank you for watching, and um, if there's anything that I can do for you, feel free to reach out. I love talking with you guys individually, and uh, listen, I'm not perfect, but I, try, I do try to help, so I just want to thank you one last time. I love you guys, and I hope you enjoyed this crazy ass live stream that I just did. I have no clue what I talked about. Um, if it's that bad, I'll just, just, uh, I'll just take it down afterwards. But, uh, all right, I'm hitting the end. I'm hitting the end thing. It's right down here on my little studio thing. Peace out. I love you guys. Merry Christmas. Happy new year. And, uh, if you haven't started painting yet, I have no clue what the hell you're waiting for. All right, now I'm talking. I'm not even in the camera. See ya.